What's up, YouTube? It's me, Arthur, a.k.a. The Indie Comics Guy. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Join my chat, nerds, because we talk about a little bit of everything. We talk about comic books. We talk about pop culture. We talk about anime and any and everything in between. I really depend on each and every one of you to help grow the channel. So, again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the conversation. So today is a quick response video to a video that Comics by Perch made. Uh, essentially, it was entitled, Why Don't They Make Nubia the Number One Comic Book? Or was it Brig Brigsby versus Batman? In this video, Perch covered a variety of things. But the, his central argument was, why aren't progressives supporting people like Vida Ola, Gail Simone, and so forth? Why these books aren't selling versus, you know, people like more conservative like Chuck Dixon. Why aren't people showing up and buying their books? He leaned more towards uh, the progressive end, saying, why don't people, brown and black people, show up and organize and make, like, that issue of static, the number one issue of the country, and so forth. So it was more leaning towards that part of the argument, and it wasn't really a balanced argument. So I saw what he was doing, I saw the narrative that he was painting, and I felt the need to respond. Number one, the reason why a lot of black people and people of color aren't showing up to comic shops or buying these books digitally, is simple. The comic book industry, like it or not, is still a racist industry. Both from the publisher standpoint as well as the retailer standpoint. You go in any comic book store in America right now, I can count the number of black people or people of color in most of these shops on three fingers. We don't feel welcome in a lot of these shops, even if we frequent these shops on a regular basis. There are not that many shop owners that take the time to get to know, hell, it's not even just us, just people in general. It's not just People of color, a lot of comic book shops don't have the best customer service. And when it comes to people of color, you know, if we feel, you know, kind of uneasy about a situation, we are going to stop going to that business. It just happens. We don't feel welcome. We're going to spend our money elsewhere. So the direct market and newsstand market have failed people of color. So the simple answer to your question is we don't feel welcome. Despite how much we want to support that character or that creator, when it comes to our experiences, and this is something that Perch would know about because he's not a person of color or a woman, <laughs> our experiences in comic book shops are a lot different from a white male, a straight white male. Our experiences in this industry as creators are different from straight white males. You have a, uh, a gay white male. His experience in this industry is going to be way different. Way different. Hell, we live in an age where you got editors pretending that they're Japanese just to get a job. True story. So, it's a different experience being a person of color. Now, what has worked for people of color and who have books starring characters of color, or even straight white males who have books that feature a predominantly uh, black character. Crowdfunding has worked for these creators. Crowdfunding has worked. Worked for Marvel and DC, what are they going to do if you're a black man? Hey, David Walker, we got a new black character. You're on it. Christopher Priest actually had to tell people when he was offered the job of writing for Deathstroke, he was like, I'm not familiar with the character. Is the character black? And they were like, no. He was like, okay, good. I will write this book because he got tired of being pigeonholed into being that black guy that DC or Marvel calls when it's time to write a black character. And I can understand that. I can understand that. So, again, simple answer to Perch. The comic book industry has failed people of color. It's also failed characters of color. It's failed us. Big time. So, it's not a matter of, oh, well, 
they're not showing up to buy this book or they're not showing up to buy that book. They're not. Why? Again, they do not want to support a system that's already failed us. Black people in this country are one of the biggest consumer groups. We got the money. Oh, yeah, we got the money. But we'll rather spend that money on um, Marcel Dupree when he runs a crowd campaign or Avid Comics running a crowd uh, campaign. Uh, Brandon Thomas or Brandon Easton running a crowd uh, funding campaign. Stranger Comics running a crowd funding campaign. Michael Watson, uh, Beautiful Soldiers, uh, Raymond Leonard, to name a few creators of color. We rather spend that money directly on those creators. It's the same that the comic skate is doing. So they are like, hey, you know what? The newsstand, in the direct market doesn't want our Comics Gate branded books. We're going to do it ourselves. It's the same thing. They realize the same thing. They're like, hey, y'all don't want to fuck with us. So what? We're going to do it ourselves. It's that same mentality. So Comic Gate, they're making their money by going directly to their fans. The people of, uh, people of color in this industry, they're doing the same thing. They're going directly to fans who want their product, who want to hear from these creators, and they're supporting them with their dollars. It's that simple. So, I don't even think there needs to be a big discussion about it, other than the fact that we know Marvel and DC, how many people of color, how many women, how many... Uh, non-binary people, how many gay people, whatever the case may be, have they had given staff positions over the years? It's actually a small amount of people. Small amount of people. We know there's not that many people of color in those seats to make these decisions on releasing books featuring characters of color or hiring people of color to work on these books. Unless we want to pigeonhole them, Unless we want to pigeonhole these creators and make them only work on so-called minority books. It's that simple. Interesting thing is with this video that Perch did was it was kind of a, a call to arms. Almost, you know, I dare you blackies. He didn't say that. Don't get me wrong. He did not say that word. It was almost a call to arms where he's like, I dare you blackies to organize and make one of these books sell on a newsstand. I support that. I support that firmly. If you want to send a statement, yeah, organize. But is that where you want to send your statement? Same thing could be argued with Comicsgate and groups like this. Have they done that? No. But again, this video was more towards calling people of color to task and asking why aren't you doing this? As I said before, they are doing it, but they're doing it directly with the creator's project. Not with their corporate projects, but directly with the creator's project. Same as Comicsgate. I don't like the narrative that the progressive, so to speak, the SJW, so to speak, are just a bunch of brokies sitting around on Twitter, you know, voicing their opinion, but aren't actively supporting the creators. Because a lot of these people are supporting the creators. May not be in a way that you want. But again, we're dealing with an industry that's repeatedly shitted on people of color. Repeatedly shitted on women. We're not, we're not even talking about the treatment of gay and homosexual people in this industry. If you want to have that talk, we can have that talk. But I have a feeling a lot of y'all do not want to have that discussion. A lot of y'all don't want to have this discussion. Because in the video, purchase video, yeah, he tried to you know talk about both sides. But as the video went on, you kind of got the narrative that he was painting. 
whether it was intentional or not, it's not for me to say. Because, because again, I like a lot of purchase videos. But when I see bullshit, I see bullshit. Hell, some of you may think this video is bullshit. I don't know. My central theme is people of color are showing up. Just not in the way that Perch wants them to show up. And you know what? I prefer it this way. Put money directly into the creator's pocket. To me, that's how you send a message. To me, when I see Stranger Comics or Trill League make $20,000 or $50,000 or whatever the case may be, uh, if I see Beautiful Soldiers make $18,000, to me, that's sending a message. That's saying that, you know what? People value this product. They want this product. Same with Comiscape. If I see Comiscape make $20,000, $50,000, $100,000, whatever, it's saying that there's an audience for that product. Doesn't have to be through the diamond system. Let's not forget this. Direct to consumer has been a thing, not just in comics, but in a variety of industries. For years. For years. But... If Perch wants people of color to organize and unionize, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's not going to be in the way he wants, but we can do that shit. We can do that shit. What the end results may be, I don't know. What I am interested in, what I am interested in seeing is... Young Rippers Ripperverse and seeing what a black known Comic Gate affiliate does with his original black characters. And will it be any different from what Marvel or DC or any of these other indie creators are doing? That's going to be interesting. That's going to be interesting. We'll have that discussion later. My chat nerds, salute. Let me know. I'll post the link to purchase video in the description. I want to know what you think. Is he right? Is it time for people of color, for progressives, or whatever the frig you want to call people, time to step up and organize? Or have they already done so and people like Perch just wasn't around to see it? Wasn't around to see it. Because you do have a lot of people of color, a lot of progressives, a lot of liberals making money direct to consumer. Same way you have a lot of conservatives making a killing direct to consumer. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm the Andy Comment Book Guy. Let me know what you think. Chat nerds, again, salute. I love each and every one of you. Like, subscribe. Let's have this conversation. I want to know what you think. How people of color failed creators of color? Or is it just the same old, same old the industry failed people of color? So we're like, you know what? Fuck the industry. We're going to direct to consumer route. I'll see you in the next video. One love.